have you been looking for a way to generate a voiceover for your videos and due to some limitations on the internet because of the number of ways that you can actually turn to voiceover you find it difficult or because you, there are some websites that offer you a paid plan for you to convert some tests into a voiceover today i'll be showing you how to generate a voiceover totally for free even if you want to convert more than 1,000 or 2,000 or even 10,000 words into a voiceover. I'll be showing you how to do that using a free tool, CapCut. So I'll be showing you how to generate a voiceover note using your CapCut for free. And if today is your first time of visiting my channel, do wait to hit the subscription button down below and the bell notification button close to it to get notified and then I post an awesome video like this. So let me move a part of my screen and show you how to create a voiceover using a cap cut. So the first thing to do is that you need to have a cap cut app installed on your device, whether on your mobile phone or your system, or you can use the web app. Just go to capcut.com. You will see their website. You can use any of these cap cuts to, to generate your cap, uh, your voiceover. So in order to do that, let me create a new let me create a new project. This is one that I've used before. So in order to generate a voiceover, what I need to do is just to come here and click on create a new project for you. Then I'll wait for it to load. Once it's done that, what I need to do is just to uh, create a test, click on test. Once you click on that test, then you bring a default test, bring it to your timeline. So once you bring it to your timeline, then you go and get those tests that you want to convert to a voice note so for me let me go and get any random tests on the internet and convert them to voice over for you so what i need uh, let me go to charge pt i think i have a test there let me get this particular test okay let me copy this and go back to capcourt then i'll go there you see i'll put it this test there so one thing that you need to be into consideration is that for any particular voiceover, there is limit, like there is a limit to number of words that you can actually convert to voiceover for each clip. That, that means you have 1,000 uh, words per conversion. Like you, don't, you cannot convert more than 2,000 words at a time. You understand? But if, if you have 1,000, if you have 10,000 words, what you need to do is just to bring it like cut it into parts cut into parts so that you can be able to convert each of them to a voiceover so let's assume that i have already done this one then i'll now go to test to, to speech see test test to speech i'll click on test to speech then there are so many uh pre-made voiceovers like voiceover template that you can actually choose from here so in, depending on the kind of thing that you want to create the voiceover for then you can actually select any of these voiceover here yeah, we have professional male, we have full female we have this we have that we have so many of them so you just select the one that suits that best suits what we are creating so let me just choose any random let me use steady mail you cannot use this job yeah, have you seen the limit? They told me that the limit is 500 characters. So what I need to do is just to go back to my test. I will click back, go back to my test. Then I will reduce this particular test. Let me remove this. Let me remove everything here. Yeah? So let me go back again. Okay, no. Let me go back to chat GPT. Let me copy just this. Let me copy this. And I'll go to cap course. So what you need to do is just to be doing it bit by bit. So I'll go back to this. Then I will use, let me use the mirror. As you can see, I can actually use this particular. Echoes, Echoes of wisdom, wisdom. Uh, the talking drum, drum an African, African folk tale. tale. Picture a close-up shot of the mystical talking drum formed with intricate patterns, with rays of sunlight streaming through the trees in the background. So if you like this particular voice that you're just listening to, you can select that, or if you don't like it, you can choose another voice. But let me just start this reading so that I convert this particular text into a voice using this particular voice for this for just this training. But for your own, you can choose any of the voice there and use that to find 
the, the particular tone that best describes what you're writing on. So let's wait for it to actually give us the voiceover that we are looking for. And if today is your first time on visiting my channel, please do it to subscribe, share our video with your friends and family like, and let me know in the comment section the video that would like me to produce next. So our voiceover is still coming up, it's still applying. So let's wait for it to finish before we proceed. So our voiceover is ready now. So let me play the voiceover so that you listen to it. So let me not play it. Echoes of wisdom, the talking drum, an African folktale. Picture a close-up shot of the mystical talking drum door with intricate patterns, with rays of sunlight streaming through the trees in the background. So echoes of this is our voice note. So what I need to do is that if you let's assume that you have more than 500 characters, just partition it. So if you want to still create another one, just this particular text, what you need to do is just to copy it. You copy Control C, Control V, you paste it. So let's assume that you have 1,000 words to turn to voiceover, and you are having a limit of 500 characters. That means you are going to have, let's say, up to, uh, okay, two. Okay, let's even say, okay, 1,000 words. You have two different uh, tests to turn to voiceover. Let's assume that you have 5,000 words. That means you are going to have 10 different tests. So I've actually created two, then you can even paste, paste. So what you need to do is just to convert all those tests, convert all those tests to speech, then put another test there. So what I need to do, this one, once I select this particular uh, clip there, this particular test, I will go back here, remove this test there, put another test there, I will not put another test there. Once I put the test there, then I will go back to test to speech, find the the uh, the voice no. that is there, then I'll just convert, click on start reading. Once I click on start reading, it will convert that particular test to a voiceover. So, and you can even export this, only the voiceover, you can actually export this to your uh, uh, device and use it for in any a, a software editing platform or any uh, video editing platform that you like. So, and if you find this particular video useful, please do it to like, share this video with your friends and family. So, thanks for watching this video.